<laughs> All right, well, let's pick up OJ where we left off. All right. <laughs> Mike Clark performing as the Playboy interviewer. Mm -hmm. Drew Lane performing as OJ Simpson. I wish I had the makeup people. Yeah, it would be nice because you could be transformed. Got voice. <laughs> <laughs> How cautious are you when you meet new people, uh, OJ? Well, I don't even know where you are. I'm at the bottom of. <laughs> I'm at the bottom of page 152. 152 to the uh, right of the. Uh, I see there. Okay. I can live in fear. Are you suspicious? You ugly murderer! You ugly ass murderer! Most of my friends and my daughter have been on me because they feel I'm too trusting. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Plunges right into it. <laughs> I love people. Oh. Who, you know, when you ask them what their you, they're asked what their worst qualities is something like, "I'm too trusting," or "I'm too nice," <laughs> right. or "I'm too giving." <laughs> people just run all over me. They just roll me. Down. I work too hard. <laughs> I make too many commitments. I can't. I can't say no. Oh, I'm too trusting. Yeah, that's why you followed and stalked your ex-wife. <laughs> Because you're too trusted. That's right. Blowing Keith while the kids was in the house. Too possessive. Looking in the window because you're stalking her. That's right. If somebody wants to get you, they're going to get you. <laughs> this is me. Yeah, well, he proved that. You like me or you don't. I don't care what your opinion is. What's amazing to me now is that some people can't let me go. Bill O'Reilly, Geraldo Rivera. Kind of like I couldn't let a go go. <laughs> <laughs> In a way, it's almost flattery. Now, look at that. Look how he tries to turn that around. The negative attention, he turns it around to, no, 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 it's flattery. It's flattery <laughs> because they will not cease to follow up on the fact that you murdered two people, got right. away with it, and you're running around acting like a cocky party bastard. Right. You see, he's flattered. In a way, it's almost flattery. Here it is ten years later. They can't let me go. <laughs> <laughs> so many things have happened in this country, but they just can't let me go. <laughs> just like he can't stop thinking about it either. Are some changes... Wait. Are some charges more offensive than others, would you say? Oh, the worst is the abuse. That bothers me as much as anything. Do you admit that you did get physically violent with Nicole? There was the one incident that everybody knows about. Her mother and her best friend said publicly, Nicole came in a room and attacked him. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely ridiculous. I remember that. They were talking about that fight. There was that fight in the, the bedroom. Remember that where one? He said, <laughs> remember in the background? Yes. He's kicking yeah. the door in. Yeah. All hell's breaking loose. <laughs> That's right. That's right. His right. name is O.J. Simpson. He's the football player. You know who he is. You've right. been here before. Exactly. <laughs> remember they used to talk about, too, how him and Nicole, well, he he would portray it as wrestling on the bed. We yeah. wrestle around a bit. <laughs> yeah. Right. Sure. Yeah. We find my place again. What I said was so outrageous, I lost my place. Bill O'Reilly, Geraldo Rivera. Let's see what flattery. There was one incident that everybody knows about. Her mother and her best friend said publicly, Nicole came in the room and attacked him. I never made any bones that I reacted wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I never made any bones. I reacted wrongly. I know. In other words, oh no, you yeah. were never the aggressor. Yeah. Absolutely not. No, it was that yeah. crazy. Crazy ex-wife. Yeah, right. Yeah, how reacted wrongly. It's like, wow. <laughs> when, we, when we think about how you reacted, yeah, that's pretty wrong. They investigated, went to every girlfriend I've ever had, and my girlfriend stood up for me. How many guys in this country go back their whole lives, and their exes all have nothing but good things to say about them? <laughs> and I'm this poster boy for abuse. That bothers me. As an adult, I've never had a fight with anybody. <laughs> Sometimes you have to check a guy who gets a little out of line, but you don't hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you had to hit the guy that called him a murderer out on the golf course, you would have loved to have done that. Here's OJ, the expert on containing your emotions. <laughs> <laughs> right. And of course... If any, if, if anybody would say anything negative about him, he would pursue them to the ends of the earth so he could get in his two cents. <laughs> How do you explain the series of visits from the police related to Rose with, with uh, Christy Brody? That's Rouse. Rouse. Fights. I was living in a hotel when I moved there. Uh, Christy got a flat tire about a mile away. She walked to the hotel. I was registered in my name. And apparently... I, excuse me, I wasn't registered in my name, and apparently she gave the desk a hard time. So they called me, I told them to send her up. They sent her to the wrong room. I heard somebody down the hall, I looked out, saw her, and I said, I'm down here. <laughs> <laughs> she was walking towards me, just beside herself. 
A lady behind her who's already pissed at her for whatever had taken place downstairs called the police. The woman reported that Prody hit you. She never hit me. No, no, no. <laughs> it was nothing. And yet the next day, the media trucks was everywhere. It's always nothing. It's always nothing. It ain't nothing. It was nothing. People like Bill O'Reilly refer to it as a knockdown, drag out fight at the hotel. It's part of OJ's legacy. <laughs> Third, person. Third person. And there you take another swipe at O'Reilly. How many murderers do you know of as a third person? <laughs> it's so arrogant about being a murderer. <laughs> another time I went to her house to drop something off. When I drove up, I saw a neighbor staring. I sprints into his house. Five minutes later, I leave. I'm driving home and I get a call from Christy. OJ, you won't believe this. The cops just came and asked me if I was all right. I didn't think anything about it, but the next day the paper supported she and I had a fight so loud the neighbors called the police. <laughs> I was really pissed. Oh, brother. We asked the neighbors. It was just one guy. Two weeks later, they released a 911 call. The guy didn't even call to report a fight. <laughs> he thought there was some type of court order against me for being within 100 yards of her. It was a total mistake. <laughs> Again, everywhere OJ goes, there's 911 calls that follow. Yeah. Isn't that so yeah, true? Yeah, by people who are out of their mind. Every single time. Well, another time you apparently called 911 regarding a woman who was high on drugs. The media reported that it was Prody. Isn't it disappointing here that they don't get into Pedro Guerrero? I, th I think that was critical. Him? The way he took it. I mean, the way he just laid that guy out. Yeah. I mean, really, he accused that guy, laid him out as a huge coke yeah. user. But the skinny on that was that Pedro Pedro Guerrero was uh, was making the moves on Christy Prody big time. It wasn't Proteus. Some friends were trying to do an intervention on a girl with a drug problem. <laughs> it's funny how he always explains things off. It's always like, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got it all wrong. Let me tell you what happened, okay? And here's wonderful OJ again, trying to help with this drug intervention. <laughs> Every time. This poor person who has gone astray and needs OJ to straighten her out. Right. Oh, he needs OJ to make, needs the juice to make the call. You need a rehab. You need to go into a rehab. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for making the call, Juice. She went into hysterics and got in a car. I did exactly what everybody tells their kids to do. <laughs> Don't let a friend drive under the influence. <laughs> she wasn't my friend, but I called 911 anyway. That's the kind of guy I am. Yeah. No, no, he's the guy at the party that stops somebody who's been drinking too much from getting in the car. Yeah, take the, the keys. <laughs> Give me the keys, man. I don't even know you, but I'm going to do what I would tell my kids to do. That's right. <laughs> I wanted the cops to stop her. I just didn't want this girl to kill herself or somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> He's so concerned about loss of life. Yeah, isn't he, though? <laughs> Look, I'll decide who should lose their life. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, it's a fight between me and my girlfriend. Drugs were involved. I'm the big news. <laughs> it sounds like you think it's an accident that you are involved in, so many incidents with the police. Most people make it through their lives without the police being called at all. It seems like you constant police with you. It's because I'm big news and people make money on it. It all becomes part of the OJ story. You know, throughout this <laughs> interview, you've seemed incredulous that people still think you're guilty. No, it doesn't surprise me because every day something was in the media. The shovel, the plastic bag. They never talked about the explanations. You know, like, <laughs> like chipping golf balls. <laughs> in the middle of the night. <laughs> After the trial, I spoke at Oxford. A couple guys, a couple colleges in L.A. and I pulled a vote. Who thinks I'm guilty? 80% did. Why would I do it? Jealousy. People give me one shred of evidence that they present in court that goes with the jealousy theory. Okay. <laughs> You're staring in the window, stalking the call, going, You're, right. You're blowing keys while the kid is in the house. Exactly. That would be jealousy. That's also, right. demanding your breast implants back. <laughs> that would be jealousy. <laughs> um, babies come from there, and this is mine. <laughs> yeah, this is where babies come from, and this is mine. He <laughs> grabs her crotch. <laughs> That's a mention. restaurant. Her walking out of her yoga class with the fur coat you gave her. Yeah. You're not wearing a fur coat to go screw somebody. Else. <laughs> That's right. I bought that coat. <laughs> That's right. You're going to wear it to go screw somebody else. <laughs> and he's ripping it off her. That would be jealousy, OJ. Yeah, I think so. Show me one shred of evidence that they presented in the court that goes with your jealousy theory. <laughs> oh, that they presented in court. Okay, mm -hmm. so now, it again, it doesn't count unless it's presented in court. Right. Right. Just like murders don't count when you're found not guilty. It's like, Yeah, when you're acquitted, it never happens. It's like going 0 for 3 and there's a rain out. No doesn't question. Count. Doesn't Does happen. not doesn't count. No. -uh. To this day, you hear people say it was jealousy and control. Yes, we had the thing with Marcus Allen, but that happened years before. Oh. 
They made it like it just happened. On 2020, Barbara Walters said, we found out that OJ had some financial strains. His Hertz deal was up and they weren't going to rehire him. His ABC deal was going was was up. He was paying a neighbor fifty to $55,000 a month in alimony and support. Hugh Downs said, a lot of people say that might give a person a reason to do something drastic. Then they go off the air. <laughs> they left the American people with a motive. But NBC had just extended my contract and given me a raise. Hertz, two or three months earlier, had extended my contract, given me a big raise. I didn't... I didn't pay any alimony. This is supposedly an investigative journalism show, and they just flat out lied. <laughs> they could have easily called Hertz, NBC, or any other lawyer involved in the divorce. They could have called Nicole's parents. They would have known every facet of the story was a lie. I was so P.O.'d. I got Barbara Walters on the phone, and she gave me some hullabaloo. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Some hullabaloo. <laughs> Well, OJ, that really wasn't my story. They just put it on the teleprompter. I didn't have time to check it. I'll look into this. Did she ever go in public said the story was absolutely false? <laughs> there's the, there's the other one. This story is hates. absolutely false. <laughs> the infamous Bronco ride didn't help. Why, uh, why, if you weren't guilty, were you trying to get away? Don't you find it curious that... Not one of the trials did the prosecution bring up the Bronco ride. The perception was better than the facts. Which were? I wasn't trying to get away. And I wasn't even driving. That's not... <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe... You that? had a gun to your head, you idiot! <laughs> Isn't that something with the disguise in the bag and, and the money and everything else? And, exactly. And $10,000. My right. God. And you, they didn't bring it up because they had they had audio that they were... Uh, I guess they were covered through surveillance right. of him on the phone right. telling his mother yep. that he didn't do it. <laughs> And the right. prosecution was so afraid of the power of this incredibly magnetic personality saying he didn't do it that they were too stupid to bring up the Bronco chase, which was the dumbest thing. Can you imagine? And so now he says, yeah, it was so powerful, why didn't they bring it up? Yeah, to, to, to think that they would eliminate that entire piece just because of those words. I mean, look at all the evidence. I mean, the evidence is just on and on and pages and pages and pages. One just because of the words coming out of O.J. that it would be that powerful, ridiculous. Uh, that's not relevant. Your friend could have been trying to help you flee O.J. Don't you love this O.J. logic that, um, how could he be fleeing? How could I be fleeing if I wasn't even driving? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's, that's what he's saying. That's what he's trying to say. I'm trying to... <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't I even that. driving. How can anybody be fleeing if they're not even driving? You gotta be driving to be fleeing. <laughs> oh, yeah. If I'm leaving, I gotta be driving. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's another great example of how this guy thinks day in and day out. Not only that, how could I be fleeing when we called the police? They knew where we were going. We were going to my house from the cemetery. <laughs> I was in mourning. <laughs> uh, oh, this is where the attorney One of the first things, and yeah, one of the yeah. first things they teach you in law school is that evidence of flight can be used as evidence of guilt. It's not flight if someone calls the police and says, "This is where we're going." If you want to meet us, that's what his yeah. attorney says. Yeah, so you know there's, there's his outing. You were supposed to turn yourself in, you dick. You weren't supposed to be in a car saying, this is where we're going if you want to meet us. <laughs> yeah. He's, or, he's got a gun to his head. I'm talking about of committing suicide. Right, right. Um, <laughs> so true. This is where we're going if you want to meet us. Yeah. Many Americans watch the uh, chase on TV. You sure look like somebody was guilty. Look like? Maybe you have to know the facts. I was going home and the police knew it. Well, let me point out again, it wasn't a flight situation. If it were, the prosecution would have used it. Playboy, if the police knew where you were heading, why were they after you? Ask them! Huh. Police from every jurisdiction were there. Well, it was because it was an event. It was on national news. They preempted everything else on television. It's attorney. attorney. Playboy. How do you respond to the theory that you committed the crime but don't know that you did? <laughs> that you blacked out or have blocked it out? How ridiculous is that? I don't think I've ever come across as some flatty kind of guy. Oh, no. I've always been outspoken and loud. <laughs> That's some pseudo-intellectual analysis. Listen, I know I was a very well-liked guy before. I'm an easy target. If everything... People like Bill O'Reilly says about the trial was real facts. I wouldn't be talking to you. I realize O'Reilly shows about him being a dick sometimes. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> but it amazes me our society has reached a point where the nastier you are, the more popular you are. The other well, <laughs> gee, I wonder why you get laid, O.J. <laughs> there the other you go. reason my story wouldn't go away is that it helps so many careers. And these people keep it going. They refer to it all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's Spanish fly. He wants the phenomenon investigated. There it is <laughs> right there. He already has his answer. We got to take, uh, take a break there. Another Man. swat at O'Reilly, too, you'll notice. Yeah, yeah we're yeah, down to right two pages. O'Reilly better be heads up. Yeah, you know it, man.